everybody, Ethan Ward here from Ward Tech Reviews, and I just have a kind of quick video for you today, but I figured I'd go ahead and review it since I got it. So uh, here is going to be my review of the Anchor, Anchor 2nd Gen Astro 3 12,800 milliamp backup battery. So I guess we should go ahead and get on with it. And um, Alright, so I'm not going to go ahead and do an unboxing this time, I'm just going to show you the few things it came with, other than paperwork just because, you know, for sake of time, not to make this video too long. So it comes with a, uh, a pretty good quality micro USB cable. It's a short one. It's about two feet long, and, it, you know, it does the job. It's, it's a pretty nice one. I would recommend getting a longer one, but if you really just need to charge something, you know, it's there. And it comes with a nice padded carrying case. Um, it's not, you know, like thick padding or anything. It's just a uh, kind of a mesh design, but it works pretty good. It prevents scratches and whatnot. And then, of course, the battery itself. So, to start off my review, um, I'll go ahead and just list the specs. So, it's a 12,800 milliamp battery from Anchor, and uh, as I mentioned before, it's the second gen Astro 3. It has uh, three USB power outputs and one micro USB power input. And it's using something called Power IQ technology, basically meaning that these ports here can dynamically change anywhere between about 50 milliamps and uh, 4 amps. So they can fluctuate in between there, so as long as the device can charge with uh, anywhere between 50 and uh, 50 milliamps and 4 amps, then it's going to be totally good and it will, it understands basically the language, so to speak, that the device communicates with it, so it charges your device at the speed that it's supposed to be charged at, rather than charging the device at, um, you know, just a fixed speed like 1 amp or 2 amps or whatever, like most backup batteries do. So it improves battery longevity for your device and charges it at its fastest speed that it is capable of charging it. It's pretty cool. And uh, like I said, it's dynamic from 50 milliamps to 4 amps across all ports, meaning one port, if you were charging one thing, could output up to 4 amps. But if you were charging two things, each port can output up to a maximum of 2 amps. So it depends. it's 4 amps all across the board for all three, and they dynamically adjust with that 4 amp rating there. So that's just the I.O. there. Pretty simple. and. Uh, and I just wanted to go ahead and say that I've been using this for a couple months now, uh, going to school trips and stuff like that, you know, taking it, you know, on vacation, wherever and stuff, just to see, you know, give it a run for its money. And honestly, I am, I'm pretty blown away by it. Uh, first off, the, um, the finish is really nice. On the outside here, it's a, it's a matte kind of rubbery finish. It's, it's good. It doesn't scratch too easy, but it definitely shows when it does scratch because of that matte look. Um, the sides here, though, are the area I kind of have a little problem with. This is really what I would say is my only complaint about this battery. I wish that the matte coating went all the way around here and all the way around here. It wouldn't be quite as stylish, but this area here on the, the glossy area, it's glossy plastic. It scratches super easy and it, can, it uh, attracts fingerprints like crazy. But, you know, it's, it's an okay thing. It's not a big deal. That's why I recommend leaving it in the case. Uh, when in use or when not in use, just always leave it in the case to keep it from from getting scratched up like mine already has in just a couple days. Alright, so and so there's the finish there, and then also when you shake the battery, you get a little light indicator here, a ring. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that. I'm going to go ahead and try and get some B-roll of this to throw on top of the, the video. But um, anyway, if you shake it, there's a little light there that shines and shows you in 10% increments how full the battery is, which is a really useful feature, I think. Um, just to be able to know how much juice you have left is nice instead of just running out suddenly. So that's that's a really good thing that they I think any fairly expensive battery should, should have on it. So there's all the specifications. Now after using it for a couple of months, I can tell you I'm really impressed. So that 12,800 milliamp rating is, is no joke. That's very real and we didn't expect that to be a lie. You know, it'll charge like my LG G3, it'll charge that thing up about four times. It's uh, in fact, over four times. It's pretty incredible. And I've used it many times and you know, it's just, it keeps you going throughout the day on your phone no matter what you do and no matter how power hungry your phone is. You could be playing games all day, whatever you want, it's going to get you through it. And it's just, it's incredible in that sense already. And Power IQ is awesome. Uh, when I did, um, which I didn't take any like actual timers to it, but just rough estimations and it was capable of charging faster than most wall warts would charge my devices, such as my G3 that I have. Its wall ward is, I believe, a 1.8 amp, 
Um, this one was outputting, I don't know how many, probably two or so, and it was charging my phone faster than the wall charger would, which I thought was pretty cool. And that means, unlike some other batteries out there, if you're doing some really intensive stuff like taking a lot of video or a lot of pictures on your phone, or say just for example, you know, you're playing games or something like that, right? And the screen's on a lot, max brightness out in the sun or something like that, it's going to still be able to bring your battery up rather than not giving it enough juice to keep it up and running like some other batteries that don't output enough amperage where the phone can actually use more than the battery's giving it. And that reduces longevity of your phone's battery and stuff too, just passing power through it like that. So I'm really happy with that. The other thing that blows my mind is how this thing never gets even a little bit worn to the touch. They have done such an efficient job with their capacitors and stuff in here that you can leave it in a backpack and out in the sun charging a phone and the phone gets hot but the battery you just put your hand on it it just feels like it was in the backpack it doesn't it's not hot at all and you know the temperature never increases and that's another reason i recommend leaving it in the case is you don't have to worry about it you know maybe damaging the the kind of mesh here from getting too hot because it doesn't get hot at all and when it charges from the wall itself it gets hot because its goal there is not efficiency it's just to fill it up overnight but when it charges other devices even when it's being pushed really hard, I mean charging three things at once, you know, all the way, it's not going to be getting warm at all to the touch. It's really nice. So I'm, I'm honestly really impressed. Um, for the price tag, which is I believe about $40 on Amazon, it is an incredible, incredible battery. And I would recommend it over a lot of the other ones, especially the ones that don't have power IQ, where they're just going to charge at a constant uh, amperage, which can not be good for some devices and not be enough for other devices. Whereas this is going to dynamically adjust and it's going to be the healthiest for whatever devices you're using and not ruin their battery over time. And I mean, it's such a big capacity too. you know, you, I mean, I, I take this places without my chargers, you know, if I'm staying the night somewhere and just use this to charge up my Pebble Seal, my LG G3 and my 3DS, just because it's got enough juice to do that, I just leave it plugged in overnight and it's still usually got 20 or 30% left on it. So, that is going to be uh, the conclusion to my review there. It's an incredible battery. I would highly recommend it. Um, once again, that is the Anchor Astro 3, the second generation Astro 3, 12,800 milliamp battery. And believe me, it, it is very awesome. And I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a good backup battery in that price range and that, that milliamp rating. It will charge anything except, you know, obviously laptops and whatnot. <laughs> so thank you for watching more tech reviews. And uh, go ahead and... Uh, Stay subscribed. We have a lot of more, a lot more videos coming up here pretty soon, so just stay subscribed. We actually have a kind of funny one that you guys might want to see here. Uh, we're going to be stacking a bunch of Intel heat sinks together with thermal paste in between them and putting the stock fan on top and mounting them onto a FX9370 just to see what kind of fun temps we can get. Of course, it's probably going to be horrid, but it's going to be kind of funny. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So stay subscribed if you're looking to see something like that.